Hello and welcome to another of our how-to videos. In this week's video we are taking you through how to reset the password of a Hikvision camera or MVR using the SADP tool. The process of resetting the password is not difficult but it will take a little bit of time but we will talk more about this later in the video. For now let's get back to the beginning and open the SADP tool. With the tool open you should see a list of all the cameras and MVRs on your network. You can then select the device you want to reset by ticking the box on the left side of the list when ticked, it should be highlighted blue and its detail should appear in the panel on the right side of the SADP window. If you look to the bottom of this panel, you will see a box where you can enter the device's admin password and a modify button. Below the modify button, you will see a link that says forgot password. When you click this link, a pop-up will appear with two steps to follow. The first step asks you to click the export button and download the .xml file. Do this and then go find the file in the download folder of your computer before emailing this file to us using info at use-ip.co.uk. If we haven't already been conversing with you about your password reset, can you please provide us with any or all of the following information? The name or company name you purchased with, your order number, and or the email address you ordered with, if different from the one you are emailing the file with. We need this information to confirm that you are a customer who has bought from us, as we will not provide the password reset service to non-customers. If you have bought somewhere else, then contact the company you bought from or Hike Vision directly for further help. Once you have sent the email with the file to us, we will confirm that you are a customer and then we will pass the .xml file to Hikevision support, who within 24 hours, they often respond a lot faster than that, will send us a reset file. We will then email you the reset file and you will save it from the email to your computer and then go back to the SADP tool and go to step two in the pop-up from earlier. Make sure you click the import file tick box. When you do, a folder button should appear just below your mouse. Click this folder and then navigate to where you saved the reset file. When you find it, select the file and click open. The file window will close and you will see the file root of the file you just selected displayed in the box next to the folder button. You can now type your new password into the box below the reset file. Once you've entered it, you will want to enter it again to confirm the password before then clicking the confirm button. A smaller pop-up should then appear with a green tick and the words reset password succeeded. And then moments later, both pop-ups should close and you will be back to the main SADP tool window with its list of devices on your network. So then, if you open Internet Explorer and enter the IP address of the reset device, you will be taken to the login page of that device. You can then enter the new password of the device, click login, and if the password reset was successful, then you will be logged into your device and you can do whatever you want with the device, including checking that it is on the latest firmware. Thank you for watching and subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, please do by clicking the Use IP logo. Check the description below for links to our webshop, Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus feeds. If you want more videos like this, click the playlist on screen now. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.